Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. Hit the like button and please subscribe. And uh, I want to thank my subscribers I already have. And um, they're awesome. Well, we've got a uh, new lawsuit exposes the FBI's election schemes and cover-ups. Stephen Miller tells Newsmax TV that the American First Legal Complaint filed earlier last month says the FBI collaborated with Facebook to conceal the Hunter Biden laptop report. According to Miller, who is the head of America's First Legal and former top advisor in the Trump administration, the FBI has stonewalled demands for information, which is what made it necessary to file the complaint. Miller stated this on Tuesday episode of Spicer and Company, and he called it one of the great wicked intelligent operations in contemporary history. To add insult to injury, the Trump administration is now breaching the law to cover up the scope of the program. My kitty cats are play fighting. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> which should scare all Americans. Miller refuted association, assertions that the government plays a role in policing electoral speech, especially when that speech origi originates from other country governments. He stated... Uh, just a moment, I gotta pause. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, Miller refuted associate assertions that the government plays a role in policing, policing, or policing electoral speech, especially when that speech originates from other country governments. I repeated that. Okay, so we stay caught up here. Oh, what a household. He stated that the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, was involved in the same activity that they accused other countries of engaging in. Just like the United States, other nations are continuously looking to get involved in a wide variety of activities. Our very own government's participation in fraudulent electoral uh, practices presents both a threat and an opportunity, Miller stated. This is a practice that is common in authoritarian regimes. This is typical of countries that are considered to be in the third world. We're so accustomed to the ideas of freedom that we can't fathom a future in which an unselected security state determines for itself who will be the President of the United States. According to Miller, it is not the responsibility of the FBI to be involved in any way with the spread of free speech on the internet. We think we can all agree at this point that the FBI has been the primary interlopers in our elections, he added. They are the ones intervening in the election, and if they continue to do so, as they are right now, for example, with these awful intimidations and threats, arrest of pro-life Americans, a clear attempt to try to persuade pro-life supporters not to show up and vote, not to organize, not to engage in grassroots involves pursuing of the midterm elections. I didn't read this. I don't read a lot of my articles. I just pop right on with them. That's unbelievable. What the heck is the FBI thinking? What, are the, what the hell do they think they're doing? For God's sakes. I will be checking into that a little bit more. For heaven's sakes. Our very own government's participation. Fraudulent electoral practices presents both a threat and an opportunity, Miller stated. This is a practice that is common in authoritarian regimes. This is typical of countries that are considered to be in the third world. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Doesn't, you know, uh, the more I read, or don't read, 
<laughs> and then I do read. <clears throat> uh, there's a lot we didn't know. I bet you. Of course. That's why we should read constantly, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't have time. You know, I just don't have time. Oh, my goodness sakes alive. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me open up this one, people. I can't say what it is, because I don't know. All I did was download it. Oh, well. Majority of Democrats now concerned about Biden's mental health. We've been concerned about that for almost a year and a half. Haven't we, people? Yes, we have. Concerns voters have over Joe Biden's obvious connective and physical decline cognitive and physical decline have ramped up since summer according to a recent something something slash TIPP I don't know if that's a L and L slash TIPP in uppercase letters or exactly what that is I don't know before the TIPP yeah uh, to a recent uh, TIPP poll the worries Americans have about Biden cut across party lines as well as even a majority of Democrat voters are concerned. Well, like I said, we've been concerned for almost a year and a half and didn't know half of what was going on behind our backs before then. You know, the poll asked the same question in early August, again at the beginning of October. The question pointed out concerns some Americans had expressed about Biden's mental health and asked, oh, how concerned are you about President Biden's mental health? The August responses had 59% of all voters saying they were indeed worried about the president's mental condition. Among Republicans, 82% said they were worried compared to 56% of independents and only 39% of the Democrats. Well, the Democrats ain't going to go against Biden. Huh. I, I'm surprised at 39% though, aren't you? When the poll was taken again this month, the total of worried American voters overrose, overall rose to 64%. Almost all the increase in the total since August came from Democratic voters. As the number expresses concern, Bob Biden's mental health jumped from 39 to a majority of 52. Okay. Among Republicans, 86 were either very or somewhat concerned, while 59% of the independents had similar concerns. The Democrats, you know, there's good and bad in, in everybody. In every situation, you pick up a book, you read a book, there's good and bad in it. You do a recipe in the kitchen, there's good and bad in that recipe. There's good and bad in everything, everybody, whatever. You know, but the first six months that Biden was president, didn't, didn't the Democrats have a concern then? Or were they just hanging in there? Because actually, and I probably shouldn't say this, God forgive me, but Biden is their puppet. They pull his strings. So they're not going to say too much that early after he became president. Because they made him become president one way or another. Under the desk, I don't care. Under the door, under the floor, I don't care. Rats play. When broken down by demographic groups in the October results, only self-described liberals came in at least in a majority, which concerns at 45%. The only other groups that came in at less than 60% were blacks. 52% single women, 58% and self-identifying moderates. 58% were moderate, moderates. Many more Americans are now questioning whether the president's mental condition is a danger to national security. Well, yes, it is. Him and his son going behind our backs, doing all this stuff since what, 2017 or 18? Or maybe even before that? Their deals they made with China? With the criminals in China? That want to take over our country? Oh, my God. 
Oh my goodness. Yes, a national security? I would say so. I would definitely say so. As economic recession sets in, inflation rages, markets collapse, geopolitical threats ramp up to what Biden himself described as a threat of Armageddon. See? Came right out of his mouth right there. Armageddon. But that's just been recently that I read that somewhere else. So is he patting his little butt right now? So he can sit more comfortable? Hmm. Many now are op openly calling for Biden, who turns 80 in November, next month, to be tested by medical experts and to have the results made public. Since the August poll, Biden has been seen more often wandering around stages at events as if he's lost, struggling to find his words when speaking with a teleprompter. He embarrassingly calls out at a function earlier this month for a recently deceased, God bless this poor woman, Representative Jackie Wawarski, Wawarski a Reb Republican from Indiana, by looking around the room and saying, where's Jackie? And she had been deceased for two months. Two months. And he talked at her, at her, uh, I understand, at her ceremony. Yeah, at her funeral. I'm sure I read that. Let me know if you read it. But he spoke at her funeral. I think I read that. Let me know in a comment, please. <clears throat> Um, now behave uh, uh, Paisley boo boo go away go lay down honey please <clears throat> Paisley get back up in the chair honey where your blankie is get in the chair uh, I am so sorry people uh, we've got beautiful weather coming 60-70 degrees now for the next few days but there must be something in back of it because my animals are just berserky. You know what I mean? They can always tell you when the weather is really going to get bad. You know, and my kids are doing it. So we might get through the 60 and 70 days that are coming for the next 3, 4, 5 days. But then look out. Oh, let me continue, please. I'm so sorry. President Donald Trump volunteered to take the Montreal Connective... C-O-G-N Konkanev I can't pronounce that word uh, C-O-G-N-I-T-I-V-E Yeah Assessment in 2018 and released the results to the public As Trump described, described the results he aced it At the time National Democrats had been clamoring for the President's cabinet to take actions against Trump under the 25th Amendment because of claims about his mental condition. Now, even Democrats appear ready to ask similar questions about Sleepy Joe. But I didn't have no doubt about Trump. He's smart as a whip. But then again, I have to back up and say, well, this time he really wasn't, was he? It's almost like Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, but Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> okay, people, I'll be back. And you, let me find my button over here on the camera. You are a blessing. Be back.